Hello and welcome back to Gadgia Cafe Shop, the Gadgia Specialists. Um, we're here today to talk about the maintenance of Gadgia coffee machines. We here at Gadgia Head Office, we get a lot of phone calls on a daily basis about maintenance of the coffee machines. One of the more prominent phone calls that we get is uh, descaling of the coffee machines. Machines like this usually, you know, need to be regu uh, regularly descaled and kept clean on every month or so. Um, so we recommend to do that on a very regular basis and a lot of people ring and, you know, let us know that the machine is blocked and there's, there's really three separate ways that that could be. Um, obviously we've got the manual machines here and the automatic machine. Uh, we'll talk about that in a separate video. Today we're going to focus on the, the Gadget traditional mud type machines. Um, so yeah, there's three different ways of your machine being blocked through the coffee actually being brewed. Um, you've got an air block, a lime scale build up, or that your shower head disc is actually blocked on, on the outside of the machine. So we're going to talk about each one of those aspects. Um, obviously here we have um, the different drip tray to the standard that comes with the coffee machine which is available on our website so we're going to use that because it actually helps with you know maneuvering things underneath and gives you a little bit more room than the standard drip tray that actually comes with the with the coffee machine the products that we're going to use for descaling the coffee machine is the Puli sachets which we use for descaling to dissolving this into warm water and actually running that through the machine we find that is a really good method to you know clean the boiler out and it's suitable for the the, the uh, boilers that we use. Some some different D scales can be quite harmful to the boilers if they're for open element boilers. Um, so you need to make sure to use the correct D scalers. Another D scale that we do have is the Gadget liquid which is obviously already dissolved. Um, a lot easier for you to use. Um, this we tend to use more on the automatic machines. It tends to be a lot easier. Um, so on the traditional machines we'll tend to use the powder. Um, so basically dissolve that, put this in the water tank using your jug, run, pour that in the top with your liquid already dissolved, fill your water tank up with cold fresh water as well and then basically all you're going to do is you're going to turn your machine on and see if you can get the hot water and steam function through the steam arm. So if you press your coffee button in and then quickly open your steam arm on the right hand side so you'll see so the steam is dispensed. If you turn that off and the coffee doesn't actually come through the, the shower head, that means there's a blockage somewhere in the machine, either through the solenoid valve, the shower disc, or there's an air block somewhere. To get, to get rid of those, you can either keep carrying on um, doing the water through the steam wand, and that will actually eventually pass through the air blockage. You know, you can actually have a look at the, the shower head here, which is underneath here, and the, the actual coffee oil sometimes can congeal and stop some of the holes from water passing through. But right now, the descaler in the water tank is actually, you know, already dissolving. It's already there. So if it is the lime scale that's causing it not to run through, it is currently working on that. It's currently breaking down the lime scale. So you can leave this now for about five minutes and come back to it again and do the same process press your, press your coffee brew button in and release your steam arm which will pass more through descaling liquid through and then once you've run about half a cup through close your steam knob and if there's no water passing through the descaling liquid will still have to take its effect and stop that stop your coffee brew button and leave that there and again wait for this process to carry on where the descaler is going to take effect and actually break down some of the lime scale in there. It could be a very small blockage and it might work straight away. It could take up to four or five or six different goes of waiting, you know, consecutively for the liquid to actually break down the lime scale blockage. But this is generally the way that the uh, customers tend to struggle with and this can be either down to a small piece of lime scale, you know, blocking a pipe or maneuvering itself from the boiler into an awkward position or actually due to low maintenance and the actual boiler completely furring up with with lime scale um, so there's three steps really make sure to do this on a, on a regular basis every one or two or three months depending on whereabouts and how hard your water is that you're using make sure you're using the correct liquid 
and make sure you do it in the correct method. If you can't actually get the water through, keep trying what I've told you um, and it will eventually take effect and you'll see that once from the product provided through the steam street shower head. So there we are, the quick and easy method as to how to clean a uh, Gadget traditional machine. This obviously in this instance the Gadget Classic, it should work very similar on all the other models. Just use the different button layouts, very simple to do. Um, and obviously the, all of these products are listed on our website um, on gadget.uk.com. Another one of our helpful tips is actually degreasing the coffee handle, the traditional uh, port filter that we use. You might find on your coffee machine that you can actually run the water through without the port filter on. Um, so that could be mean that there's a blockage in the handle. If you were to have one of the new Gadget machines, the Gadget 2015, some of the old older models of the baby had these fitted to them and you have the perfect crema basket which actually has the one hole on the bottom of the uh, the basket um, and a little crema pin that sits in the bottom there um, the best way to keep them clean so that they don't block up and it's, it's struggle for you to run the water or coffee through we use the Pooley tablets uh, again these are listed on our website um, on gadget.uk.com uh, with the look like this and what you're going to do is just place that in into the handle like a standard coffee and lock this into the machine now you only want to put a slight amount of water through the actual water filter just enough to wet the tablet and so it froths up um, it'll have like a, a slight reaction in there to the to the water it'll froth up and actually clean all the coffee oils out of the handle and, and also help with the cleaning of the shower head as well the shower disc so I'm just going to press the button ever so slightly for around two seconds and just leave that there now for about five minutes. The tablet will take its effect and froth up and I'll come back in around five minutes. And you should see when the actual tablet runs through, it should come through very very foamy, very soapy. Um, and you might see that it's a, a bit coffee coloured and that's actually cleaning out all the coffee oils in your handle. This we would recommend to do little, not, not as regular as descaling, but still you know with the perfect crema basket if you, especially if you're using a very creamy coffee um it can uh, it can block up quite easily uh we do get to phone calls about this quite often and definitely would recommend this as a good method for keeping the coffee machine clean and healthy on a regular basis thank you for joining us again on gadget cafe tv for more helpful tips tricks and information please go to our website at www.gadget.uk.com or follow us on facebook or twitter under gadget uk thank you